is we need to just drill through now all of those screw holes that were put down to hold down the teak decking. Fifty-one holes on our side decks filled with epoxy. We shouldn't get any coal damage again. Okay, so we've just had a quick hour on this. It's looking a lot better now. Okay guys, beautiful morning this morning. So we've got this side of the boat clean now and this walkway. So what we'll do is we need to just drill through now all of those screw holes that were put down to hold down the teak decking, mark them on the inside, and then we can epoxy fill those with the syringe as we did before. Uh, and then we'll be able to come in with our gel coat repair afterwards. So let's get straight to work. This is what a boataholic tea break looks like. <laughs> nice cup of tea and the Ferrero Rocher. Perfect. Okay, so we've marked all the holes on the underside of the walkway here. So we've just marked them with a marker pen and you can see actually it's black here. So that's already damaged, water damaged and stained. But actually there's a dam just here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a line just there. And then it's dry all the way back which is consistent with what we were seeing because when we were drilling these out, we were getting dry balsa coming up through with the drill bit. So it's dry all the way there and then all the way into the back cabin. Let's see if I can pick this up on the camera. See here, there's another hole here. But all this balsa is nice and dry, which is brilliant because to replace this would be a real pain. We could do it, but it's gonna save us a lot of work if we don't have to. And that's all nice and dry under there, so that's brilliant. So we'll be able to fill those with some little bit of thickened epoxy and that will be a great repair. So happy about that. Still got quite a bit of damage to put right. So forward of this dam here. So there'll be a dam in the laminate as before there was on the other side. So we're gonna to have to strip out all of this here forward and all the way into the forward cabin again. I don't know whether you can see, but it's, a lot of this is quite black, especially on this front edge here. And then again, it sort of stops about here. There's another, another dam in the laminate, and it seems to be dry forward of that. So yeah, we'll be able to strip all this out and we'll go with a, I'm pretty sure we'll go with a foam core to replace that. So that's sort of good and bad news, really. And um, happy that we've not got to do the whole side deck, but obviously, Still got to do two reasonable sized lengths. So what we'll do now is we'll mix up some thickened epoxy and we'll use our little um, injection syringes and inject some epoxy into all of these holes. And that will then at least make the deck watertight. And then we'll be able to, when we strip this out, we'll probably have a little bit of epoxy just hanging down, but we'll just cut that off flush, foam core it, 
and then we'll put some fiberglass laminate back on and that will be a good repair. One holes on our side decks filled with epoxy so we just thicken the epoxy slightly put that into our syringe and then inject it into those holes so we're just going to leave that to set up now so next job is we've got our screw holes which is where the fixings come down from the screen on the outside and they come down originally would have come down into this plywood but what we've done is we have left a hole in the plywood we're going to draw, draw the screws out and then we're going to fill this with epoxy to isolate it from this ply so we can't get any damage on this ply again and then what we'll do is re-tap it and then draw all those screws back in again to hold that screen into place but yeah any if at, if at any point that screen leaks and it comes down the screw it'll just be an epoxy and it can't cause any damage to our new core so we've got this one here and then we've got one two three and then also i think we've got some on this side to do as well.
Okay, so the thickened epoxy is in, and that's now isolated those screws from our core. So if there's any, any water to come in again, we shouldn't get any core damage again. So they've turned out really nice. Up around here and then down there. So we've used the slow hardener, so we just need to leave that set up now. That probably will take an hour or two, although it is really warm in here. It's about uh, 30 degrees at the moment, so uh, should go off fairly quickly. So next, we're gonna have a quick look at our gel coat repair on the outside back edge of our walkway. Okay, so we've just had a quick hour on this and it's looking a lot better now. We've just used a 320 grit uh, wet and dry and this is nice and smooth. We've still got a couple of little defects that we're not happy with. So we've got a little nick here and it's just rubbed through slightly here as well. Just maybe the gel coat was a bit thin there. I'm not sure, but we've gone through there. But overall it's looking pretty good. What we'll do next um, is we'll come in and airbrush this and blend it into the hole. But we've got a few other gel coat repairs that we need to do, so we'll probably do them all at once at some point in the future. But at least now this is nice and watertight, keep the weather out. And of course, this will be covered as well. We've got some teak decking on here, so this will all be covered, but we want to make a best possible job that we can. Anyway, it's the end of the day, uh, so that's going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.